welcome back. On Friday, our amazing country celebrates its 149th birthday. And yeah, that means, of course, throwing a candidate party to remember. It's our patriotic duty, wouldn't you say? You are right. It sure is. So here to help us is event planner Rebecca Weiss. Welcome back, Rebecca. Yeah. Rebecca, I think when we start planning a party, one of the first places we think of is our decor. Yes. And when we think Canada Day, a lot of people just automatically go to red and yeah. white. But you say there's a lot of other options out there. Yeah, yeah. Red and white is a great place to start, but definitely think outside the box there. Think of textures and symbols, not just color. An example is I use these fun, colorful blankets. They're Canadiana in theme. And I use them as tablecloths instead of actually just going to the tablecloth. Oh, cute. So they are really great at hiding spills, which will happen, and they speak to that Canadiana theme. Also, you can use something as simple as these galvanized trays. They are Canadiana in theme, but they're easy to carry. They keep everything organized. They're functional as well. All of these items are part of the Canadiana decor theme from exclusively from Walmart. Wow. It's often celebrated outside, it's warm, we all want to get out there in the backyard or, you know, at a park. So what are some of the things that we have to consider before we take our candidate party outside? Oh, keep your guests comfortable. We often forget to provide seating. So use some of these really comfortable chairs and make sure your guests are comfortable. Take those pillows off your couch if it's a nice day. If it looks like it's going to be sunny outside, take those pillows outside, make your guests comfortable. These pillows are amazing because they remind me of the cottage. They remind me of, you know, camp and summer. Summer, and they're amazing when they're paired with these ottomans. These are faux wood log ottomans. They're hilarious. So hilarious. Love them. Thank you. you also want to remember to light the way for your guests. So these are maple leaf marquee signs, and I love them because they're battery operated, so you can line the path with them. You can sprinkle them around your table after it gets dark. They are so yeah. cute. Oh my God, that's a good they idea look very high in the door. And it's yeah. like Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood North, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got that kind of ah, feel to it. You I know? love it. Yeah, and part of the best, the, one of the best parts about shopping at Walmart for all of your Canada Day needs is that the value is amazing. So you get really good quality merchandise, but at amazing price points. Okay, it goes without yeah. It goes without saying that food and drinks must be served at any good Canada Day party. But so, are there any tips you would? say for uh, hosting a hassle-free holiday party? So one of the things that people forget, first and foremost when they're hosting, is they host too much, right? So they're running back and forth, you know, can I get you a drink? Can I get you this? Can I get you that? And they forget to have fun. I mean, this is your party too, yeah. right? So I always suggest to get a big cooler, and in this case it's a Canada Day cooler, fill it with ice, pop some drinks in there, get like an ice bucket, fill it with drinks as well, let your guests help themselves. It's more casual, it's fun. They're going to really appreciate the fact that they're not asking for a refill or waiting. Like, hey, I need more drinks. You know, <laughs> it's like a little more comfortable for them. Um, I also love this charcuterie board. So this is actually a chalkboard that people put in their front hall and they write messages to each other like, be home late tonight. But I thought for ser serving and hosting purposes, put your charcuterie on it, put your cheeses on there, and then write in chalk what you're actually serving. Hassle free. That's a good idea. Right? Oh, cute. I know Canadian. I also love that all these ideas, I mean, this one is specifically themed for Canada Day, yeah. but all these ideas would work for a perfect baby shower yeah. with both genders in it. <laughs> right? That's true. And the other hassle-free tip that I love is people often use disposable cutlery, right, when they're outside, but it blows away, it gets scattered, it's really messy looking, so I took Canadian-themed napkins, part of the Canadiana decor line, and I rolled my cutlery up in them and then tied them with some raffia, popped them in a galvanized tub. So, so cute. cute. Oh, yeah. Super easy. Okay. So, so okay. what about what about drinks? Or was there? Are we going to drinks next? Or did I jump? Drinks, in? Yeah, more drinks, drinks, more drinks. We're always okay. going to drinks. Next. Always. <laughs> yeah. Happening. Yes. Yeah. So for Canada Day, I wanted to just go with a classic lemonade because it's delicious and everybody enjoys it. But I popped some strawberry ice cubes in, and you can see they've gone all the way to the bottom, which is so beautiful there. Uh, the strawberry ice cubes are used uh, making just uh, blend up some fresh strawberries with some simple syrup, super easy. Um, if you want a bit more color, you can pop a little bit of fruit punch in there. And it just really speaks to the Canadian Day theme, you know, red and white, but it's lemonade, so everybody enjoys it. And how about, you know what, I'm a big eater, I have mm. to say, if someone invites me to their party, they need to make sure that 
there's a variety of food because I eat all of it. <laughs> so talk to no me way. about more food options that we can do themed around Canada Day. So when I think of Canada Day or those kind of celebrations, I always think of s'mores. They're nostalgic. Everybody remembers them. They speak to camp and cottages. So for Canada Day, I used Great Value Walmart's um, maple cookies, took them in half, split them right in half, and then you stuff a roasted marshmallow right in the center. It's like a Canadian twist on the s'mores. You can use chocolate as well, but it'd be very sweet. So just straight maple cookie and marshmallow for me. I love that you've got these stacked little mini <laughs> pancakes. Adorable. Yeah, you know, just some pancakes. Good old fashioned. <laughs> One of the great things about Canada Day, any holiday, is that we're spending time with our friends and family, and it's hard to get all of us all together at the same time. So we want to treasure those moments. Any suggestions to help us sort of capture that yeah so i'm a big fan i'm a big photo person i take i have a little girl at home so i'm constantly snapping pictures of her she's annoyed she's like stop it mommy <laughs> but this is canada day so you're gonna have your friends and family over it's the most important people in your life so make it special and make it memorable using these fun photo props <gasps> right for you uh -oh. they've got hats I they've got the sunglasses they've got necklaces you're honestly your friends and family are gonna think this is hilarious <laughs> So how can we make yes. sure the little ones and, uh, you know, for all ages yes. are entertained? Yeah, yeah. So for the very, very little ones, I love to grab this, like, giant sidewalk chalk. It's easy to hold. Let them go to town on flagstone, on the fence. I don't care. Whatever. It's washable. It comes right off. Never seen a chalk. Like, a, it's huge. It's yeah. Huge. Like, yeah. Just, you know, and it's good for little hands. Yeah. yeah. And then also, this is a fun Canada Day craft. You get a blank canvas, some red paint. Draw two stripes on the side. Paint your kid's hand red. Completely. They'll love that. Great smack dab in the middle. absolutely adore that experience but yeah. he's also a huge fan of bubbles well and so for the kid and all of us because who doesn't love bubbles we have this amazing bubble monsoon ah! Ah! Canadiana decor line and good news for everyone in our studio audience because you're all going home with a Walmart gift card worth 